Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my review of the Macali Anti-Fingerprint Screen Protector for the 4th generation iPod Touch. Now, whenever I get an iPod or an iOS device I always like to put a screen protector on it. Not only does it protect the screen but some have different finishes as well and I especially like the ones that have got sort of anti-reflective coatings and sort of matte finishes and maybe some that improve the feel of the screen of the iOS device. Well this one from Macali promises an anti-glare finish and also it won't show any fingerprints. So let's have a look at what you get inside the pack and then I'm going to show you it being fitted to my iPod Touch. Let's crack this packaging open. Now inside the pack we get the screen protector itself. Here we go, and this is something a little bit different actually because normally with these screen protectors you get a two piece design where you're going to peel off a top layer after this bottom layer but this looks like it's just the single layer on it. Then we get a little pack here, open this up, see what we get inside here. Now this is some sort of applicator card I think. So it's quite big for pushing down the, the screen cover, or the screen protector I should say. So you get this and you also get a little polishing cloth for polishing the screen. Now I'm going to be putting this on my fourth generation iPod Touch. What you don't get in the pack, obviously this is too big, is a blower. So I always have one of these handy, just for blowing away any dust. I also have some sellotape handy, a little loop of sellotape ready. If you get a little speck of dust underneath, that's really good for just picking the dust off. And instead of this big squeegee, that looks really awkward, I'm going to use this little uh, tiny squeegee. Much better for pushing bubbles out. So, let's prepare the iPod Touch. Now I don't need to clean the screen really because it's got a screen protector on already, but I'm just getting rid of any, any dust because you want to work in a sort of dust free environment as you possibly can. Now this screen protector I've got on at the moment was just a cheap one from eBay so I'm hoping that this new one from Macali performs a lot better but we will see it's certainly got a nice finish to it so let's remove this one that I've currently got on the iPod touch and get that out of the way I'm just going to lift up that corner take it out of the way like so, that one could be thrown away in the bin. I'm going to give my iPod a wipe just around the edges. And you really should spend some time cleaning the screen of your iPod because if you've got any specks of dust on there, they're going to cause little air bubbles in the screen protector. So we're going to get as rid of as much of the dust as we can. There we go, just give it a little blow. You can still see if I'm looking side on on here, <coughs> some, some uh, little specks of dust, so a little bit of moisture on there just to lift this dust off. It's weird, some of it's stuck down and it won't move, but you really do want to spend some time just getting the screen as clean as possible. And saliva, I'm using just liquor, you know, liquor at the moment is one of the best things you can do to get rid of the stubborn bits. There we go. So I'm quite happy with that. And now let's get the screen protector. And I'm going to just peel this off in one go. I'm going to move it out of camera shot because I don't want to put more dust onto my screen. Now I'm going to start at the bottom because I'm going to use the sort of home button area as a line up.
top area of my iPod I'm now really happy with. So I've got no sort of dust flecks or anything in the top area. This bottom area I've got quite a few little bits of dust. So again, these ones are air bubbles, this one's dust. So actually I'm going to just pick up this corner first. So it looks like my tape's lost its sticky, so let's get a new piece of tape and pick up this corner. And just push those air bubbles out. So that's that corner done. Now these ones are dust, I can see little white specks of dust in there. So I'm going to pick this up again with the tape. I can just get it to stick enough, there we go. And then as I'm lifting, I'm looking for where these dust particles are. So I've got some there, just pick those off. Another one there. I just hate dust when I'm putting these things on. Another one there, and another one there. Hopefully I've got them all. And then we just lay this back down, again pushing the air bubbles out as we go. Now I know I've taken a little bit longer on this video to do this one, but now, as you can see, I've got no bubbles in there. Glad I kept that in shot actually, I wasn't even concentrating on my camera. So this is the Macali screen protector in place. Let me just wake the device up. And there is the Macali anti-fingerprint, this is the packaging, just to show you the packaging again, it's an anti-fingerprint screen protective overlay, really nice quality to it, it's added a matte finish to the front of my iPod touch which I like a lot, so the sensitivity of um, swiping left and right, absolutely fantastic, I think that's brilliant. Um, anti-glare properties as well. I've got my studio light just over to the right there and you can still see the studio light in there but it's more than usable in that sort of light. I think this is a fantastic screen protector. Now the Macaulay screen protector is going to cost you roughly about £8 in the UK. If you're in the US it's going to cost you $9.99. I think it's a really nice screen protector. It was fairly easy to put on I've got some dust in there, you can't do anything about that, but easy to remove with a little bit of tape. I like this one a lot. I can't recommend enough for you to get a screen protector for your iOS device. It protects it, and in this case, makes the screen a lot nicer to use as well. So thanks very much for listening. This was my review of the Macali Anti-Fingerprint Screen Protective Overlay. Their model number is IPPH809T4. Please subscribe to the Geek Noise channel so you don't miss out on any of my future reviews. And also, if you want to get my regular updates, then follow me on Twitter by following at Geekanoids. This video review is sponsored by BMI Solutions, the largest reseller of document scanners within the UK, with a price promise guarantee.